today's episode. We just found a yeet. Come with us. Let's check it out. From the Florida Keys, we made our way to the outskirts of the Ocala Forest to spend a few days with friends. We decided the weather was warm enough to be on our way north after several weeks of sunshine and sand. It was a nice change of scenery to be back in a place where we were surrounded by the shadows of giant trees. Wherever I go, I will always know Everything I need is right here with me It's time to let it all go, no matter who knows Anything about me now I'm ready to see what life's got for me I got one thing left to say we came to Fort McCoy to visit some friends of ours. We're uh, going to check out Lake Kerr right now up in North Florida. Kind of just outside of Ocala. So we're out here having a good time doing some mooch docking. Mooch docking. Yep, going up to Georgia next. Some of you may be wondering what mooch docking is. Mooch docking is a great way to park your RV for free and spend some quality time with friends and family. It is one of my favorite ways to travel around the country. Our lithium battery bank and inverter charger allows us to cap our power draw to as little as 13 amps, even while running the air conditioner in the summertime. This means we can plug in with a simple extension cord and not have to worry about blowing any breakers. This is a convenient feature to have if you spend a lot of time mooch docking. Deep in the Ocala Forest, there lies the legend of a three-headed sandhill crane that is said to bring you luck. Our luck was just getting to see one and having some of the most amazing friends on the planet. During our quick stay in Fort McCoy, we were able to see quite a bit of the surrounding hotspots in a very short time, thanks to our local tour guide and good friend Karen. Alright, so we're out here. Karen's giving us a tour of the Ocala National Forest. Say hi, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> going down a dirt road. We don't know where we're going. We're going to see where it leads. What do you think, Jacqueline? It's pretty neat. The trees have changed quite a bit just driving down this one road. Pine trees, palm trees, brush. Way different from California forests, but still cool. Alright, where are we? This is Salt Springs Marina. Yeah. And this is called the Salt Springs Brun. Okay. Salt Springs right there, you can see a lot across the lake. Kind of that little grassy area between the trees. Uh-huh. Um, we go swimming and picnicking over there. Salt Springs Marina goes, you can launch your boat and if you go five miles down the river, you'll end up in Lake George, which is one of the largest rivers in Florida. It oh. runs from, I believe, Astor to Okeechobee. Thanks. What a pothole! What pothole! That wasn't a pothole! So this is Karen's thinking spot. There it is. What's this place called? I have not a clue. Oh, perfect. It's called Karen's thinking spot. Wow. Check this out. Crowley! That looks familiar. Alright. So, Civilization. if you're bored, and you feel like you haven't explored enough, take a back road you've never been down. See where it goes. We're going to the grocery store. <laughs> Later. Upon our arrival home from our day out exploring, we found ourselves another intruder in our camper. It was a great relief to find out our unwelcome guest was just a small lizard this time and not something that goes squeak in the night. We did, however, promptly evict this little guy and sent him on his way outdoors. Nothing. <laughs> All right, so my friend Jack here is taking me for a ride. 
We're gonna go have some fun. About to leave. Already packing. All right, Trixie, you stay here, baby girl. Here's mama. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. Riding motorcycles is one of my favorite pastimes. There's nothing quite like being out on the open road with the wind in my beard. It's therapeutic, like meditation. I love that feeling of freedom, that ability to free my mind and just enjoy the moment. Sometimes it takes a whole tank of fuel before I can think straight. I would love to bring a bike with us on the road, but we learned the importance of staying under 22 feet while boondocking on the California coast. Our rig is already 21 foot long, so I really appreciate it when a good friend like Jack gives me the opportunity to ride again, because loaning out your bike is a really big deal. Jack, I know you're watching this. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. It's such a good friend. In our last episode, Bubble George taught us what it felt like to be kids again. And it was amazing. So when we found out there was a fountain of youth in St. Augustine, Florida, we were totally down to go see if the myths were true and drink from the magical waters. Okay, so we went under a tree over here and it grabbed our $200 fishing rack and bent it over. And I wonder what kind of damage it did to the paddle boards. But yeah, the tree was too low. The management at the Fountain of Youth were very compassionate about the mishap and offered us free entry into the park. We left the Ocala Forest this morning and so now we're in St. Augustine and we decided to go visit the Fountain of Youth to see if we can get more young and beautiful. So this is Juan Ponce de Leon. He was the one who discovered the fountain. In St. Augustine, the oldest city in the United States, there is a tourist attraction dating back more than a century. It's said to be the Fountain of Youth that Spanish explorer Ponce de Leon discovered soon after his arrival in what is now Florida in the year 1513. We're going to drink the water, I think, and uh, we'll be young forever. Stay tuned. This legendary place supposedly has healing waters that magically maintain your youthful appearance. Although legend also has it that Ponce de Leon was told by the Native Americans the Fountain of Youth was located in Bimini. So this is apparently the sacred water of the Fountain of Youth. We're going to give it a try. See if you guys can watch me get younger by the second. Oh, it tastes super weird. Yeah, I've never tasted water like that before. Very unique flavor. Mmm. It's good. It's good. Do I look any younger? 
I do? Really? Yeah. is like hose water. So is it possible this explorer got it wrong? Or will we be forever young after drinking from these enchanted waters? Comment below and let us know what you think. The Fountain of Youth Archaeological Park offers 15 acres of waterfront history, where visitors can see a variety of shows and living reenactments designed to entertain and educate about the first Spanish settlers from the 1600s, as well as the native Temucan people. We're at the Navigator's Planetarium and we're going to go see the presentation. The Planetarium is one of the scheduled shows you can view. During the seated presentation, you will learn about how Columbus used the stars in the sky to navigate the oceans in search of the Americas. Now, as the sunrise appears in the east and daylight returns, we bid you goodbye. Live reenactments consist of learning about weapon use in the early 1600s, from rifles to crossbows. And cannons. All the cannons down there were pulled out of the Florida waters from a guy in the 1950s. They're cannons from the 1600s. What is all this shit? Dead thing. Huh. Yeah. Turtle shells, gator skulls, jawbone, something. All right, and now they have a blacksmith presentation to answer all your metal crafting questions, as well as Timucan and Spanish buildings to explore. They even have roaming peacocks you can feed. We found this park to be very educational and family friendly for all ages. This is all about ratios on snatch block. As you'll see in number one, you have a one to one ratio. Go ahead and pull it. Okay, good try. Try number two. That's pretty good. All right, try number three. Keep going. So which one was easier? Those are called snatch blocks. If you notice, the first snatch block has one pulley, right? So that's a one-to-one -one ratio. And you look at the second one up here, and there's a pulley that comes down to a snatch block and back up to the other snatch block, right? And so the more times the rope goes back and forth, it creates mechanical leverage. It allows you to lift all kinds of stuff. Hello and welcome to the Discovery Globe at the Fountain of Youth Archaeological Park. Yes, this is a museum piece. A museum piece that would be in the Smithsonian right now if it weren't so big. Hey, so here we are at Ponte Bedra. I think that's how you call it a beach on the east coast near the border of Georgia still in Florida right here just soaking it all up man we've been enjoying the sunshine and the heat and now it's 65 degrees outside and we're freezing our asses off <laughs> we got a good spot we're gonna stay the night here 
beautiful view. Now we're on the side of the highway. It is what it is, folks. It's what we gotta do to keep this lifestyle going. Anyways, keep it fresh. It's March 20th. We're just north of St. Augustine in Florida. And I wanna show you what my warm winter looks like. Oh gosh, I don't even wanna go outside. ocean over here. I've never seen waves in the Atlantic Ocean. Ooh. Come on. So windy and so cold. I'm not prepared. There's little birds hunkered down in the sand over here. was rocking so hard last night we had to put all four legs down and it's still rocking. Thank you for watching this week's episode. If you enjoyed our video, show your support by hitting that like button and subscribing. Every like and subscribe really helps us out and keeps us making more content for you to watch.